That is why, that is why You will hear the people cry Our democracy will die So will our team of say die Mambo, mambo, mambo It's not amazing, it's not great, but you know, it's safe, it's, it's catchy. If I'm not mistaken, this was released uh, in December. It was th the peak of just everyone hating the administration and Mar. I think whatever he put out, even if it was by the Beatles, like everyone would have still hated the song. Like Miriam's campaign is really disappointing. Miriam has positioned herself as either a comedian or a, like a badass uh, politician. And this song is just, it's neither. It, it has an identity crisis. It doesn't know what musical style it should be in. I find it pretty hilarious. The heavy-handed lyrics kind of clashes with the, the soulful music. It's amusing, to say the least. It's very gentle. And yet, we know that they're singing about Duterte. Yeah, time is it. 2.30. I guess they're going for a Korean flavor. I would have preferred it if they just went all out, if they went campy. But here it's like, it's... They don't seem committed. The girls look like they don't, they're not having any fun. So, Gobierno May Puso is really well done. It sounds like a, a really heart-rending rock opera. Uh, I just wish that you know, they actually used it for their TV ads. It could have could have competed with only Binay as far as LSS uh, potential is concerned. Only Binay, only Binay. Undoubtedly the best jingle of the 2016 campaign. I mean, it's a landslide. It has the majority vote. I think what's really great about the jingle is it's, it's a weird mixture between indie pop and jeepney music, and they somehow made it work. It's really genius. <laughs> Coconuts TV.